George, a big week, two fixtures, um, but you're coming off a, a good win from the weekend as well. Yeah, definitely. It's a busy week for us. We've obviously got two squads operating, which has uh, logistical challenges for the coaching team. But for the players, they know what team they're in. They know what they've got to prepare for. And um, yeah, it's exciting. And how difficult has it been to find that balance, I guess, between two games, especially when going so well in the Premiership Cup? Yeah, I mean, what it does provide is an opportunity for everybody to play. And, uh, you know, this will be the fourth weekend into games. So, you know, I think it's really, really good that everybody will get a chance this weekend. Um, I say the, the challenge is dividing the two teams up, but we've done that. And, um, yeah, I feel good about it. I think the boys, have, they've trained really well. They're trained really hard. So it's just up to them now to get ready for whichever game they're part of. Let's focus on Hartbury first, uh, a team you know pretty well. A, a lot of the boys here have kind of come through that system, been in and out of there. How much of a challenge will it be to, to, to make sure that we're absolutely spot on with, spot on it when we go, we go up there? Yeah, it, it definitely. I mean, look, we, we've all got good relationships with Hartbury. Obviously, us and Hartbury work very closely with loan players and, um, you know, that sort of thing, which will happen going forward post the Prem Cup again. So we know the coaches very well. There's lots of players with relationships with coaches, other players over there. So there's a little bit of a challenge this week around, uh, you know, the, the two teams being separate from each other. But... I think it's an exciting challenge. I think it's great for the gloucester Hartby relationship that we've got a game, a proper competitive game against each other. And, um, and obviously the Barbarians on Saturday is, is massive. You know, they've, they've got a really, really strong team. They've given a few teams a good hiding over the last month or so. So we've been watching their footage and, and they're playing some really good rugby. And I think that's a, uh, a really big challenge here at King's Home on Saturday. And moving on to the Barbarians, and as you said, what's the, I guess, the unpredictable, unpredictability of the Barbarians? presents a different challenge but for these for these guys it's sticking to the process and sticking to the game plan I guess that you want to you want to put out there yeah we know what we need out of that game and and I think ultimately everyone's competing for places so we need to see people playing the Gloucester way and um, you know there'll be a few more faces out there over Friday Saturday who haven't played um, the last few weeks so there's lots of people out there who need to put their hand up you know some of the young guys have really really done well the last few weeks and and we want to keep building that pressure for places um, but yeah, look, the Barbarians, they've actually played some really smart rugby, you know, they, they've played some really intelligent football the last couple of weeks and, and obviously they've got some X Factor in there as well, which makes a big difference. So it is a big challenge, um, you know, but again, we're really excited about it. And there's been plenty of new guys blooded through the academy and obviously new people coming in, but, but a debut for Zach Mercer as well incoming this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I think it's, um, it's, uh, he probably feels it's been a long pre-season, but he'll be out there this weekend and I think, you know, he'll be really excited to to take on the Barbarians and, and get stuck in. And, you know, obviously he's a big signing for us, so we're all excited to see him run out in a Gloucester badge. Great, thanks, George. Cheers.